Hello fellow gamers, my name is Burtas and in the background you will see me flying around. This is because I wish to talk about upcoming change to the Banshee. And we all know what this means, nerfing stuff to the ground. Which is one of these things that I really don't like, but are quite frequent in Planet Side 2. I do not want Banshee be nerfed to the ground, I do not want Ravens to be nerfed to the ground. And I will make video about Max weapons, but I am far more familiar with anti-infantry nose gun, so they are the first. I'm making this video in hope that Higby will consider not using full strength of his nerf hammer. Let's just get started. First, I think whenever one weapon is taken on the workbench, all her counterparts should be taken also. This means that we should not only talk about Banshee, we also should talk about Air Hammer and Light PPA. First, let's talk about Light PPA and its very decent weapon. It has unique sound that alerts everybody on the battlefield of its presence. It has the biggest splash of all AI nose guns, reaching up to 4 meters, twice as the second best Banshee with just 2 meters. It can deliver sustained damage over the long distance, but it is kept in check by low projectile speed and low fire rate. Now, Airhammer is completely different beast. It has the biggest damage per shot, reaching 1400s of direct damage and then 1600s of indirect damage. It is also the AI nose gun that has the highest damage against armored target. What keeps the Airhammer in check is the fact that it delivers a pellet not a single bullet, so it have more limited range than other AI nose guns, and it have quite limited ammo pool. Also, like the PPA air hammer, have this thing's sound. And finally the Banshee. My sweet little Banshee. I will not lie, I love this gun. She have everything. Long range with fast travel bullets, lack of damage from single shot, she compensated with high fire rate. When we fully upgraded the magazine signs, she will win DPS race against Double Booster Max. She has everything. And that's why she needs to be nerfed. She is simply too good to be true. Now, I believe the Banshee need a nerf and one big change. Let's start with the change. And it is sound. The Banshee do not have unique sound. I play on different faction and whenever I die to Banshee, I know it was a Banshee only from the dead screen, which is not true for Airhammer and PPA. Giving Banshee unique sound that is heard in big area will change how people will react. It will give them opportunity to prepare for it. Some people will be say, you hear that? Some bloody bastard is using the Banshee, let's kill him. Now Banshee is more a ninja, since it can kill and nobody will know that she do that. Going now to the nerf part, I think that what needs to happen is increase in time to kill. And I think the best way to do this is by decreasing fire rate to 720 rounds per minute and doubling the magazine size. I sense your confusion, so allow me to explain. Currently the Banshee deliver 800 rounds per minute, each round have direct damage of 150 and 200 indirect damage. The basic magazine have 25 bullet and we can add extra 15 to it. Now the change come in two options, both of them have lowered the fire rate to 720. Option A. Banshee have from the start 50 bullets and we can add 30 more. But every bullet will deliver just 75 direct damage and 100 indirect ones. This will put time to kill on 0.83 seconds, assuming no direct damage is done. However, this option has one second delay time, in which the pilot start firing, we hear the sound of the Banshee, but it will start firing after one full second. This is to create more interesting counterplay and I just want to put fear in the heart of all rebellious scum that are there. Option B, Banshee have from start 75 bullets and we can add 45 more. But every bullet will deliver 50 direct damage and 70 indirect ones. 
This will put time to kill on 1.25 seconds, assuming no direct damage will be done. I think that option AI combined with new unique sounds of Banshee will put her in the right spot in terms of performance. It will be even more TR weapon, high magazine, high fire rate, but it will require from the user longer leading the target. Now going back to the other faction for the moment, I think that only Airhammer could use slight buff or adjustment. Light PPA is very good weapon and I'm afraid that any buff to her will end in overkill. What I change to the air hammer is increase number of pellet. Not damage done by single shot, but the number of pellets fired with each shot. Currently each shot fire 8 pellets. I will be ok with increase to 10 or even 20 if the damage per shot will be keep at current level. This will give air hammer increase in effective range and allow it to more easily fight the scattered infantry. Besides that, I do not see a reason to change anything else in anti-infantry nose gun. If there is a problem, it is in the ASF itself. But I will discuss this in another video. Thank you for your time, comment, share, subscribe and have a nice kill strikes.